if you want beautiful flowers for your wedding but are on a tight budget, the type of flower that I'm going to talk about can easily create elegant arrangements with a variety of size variations and complementary filler flowers. In this video, I will explain how simple it is to use and why I like to use this type of flower, how it can save you money and most importantly, how you can get more done with less. And at the end of this video, I will share a bonus hack that is used by the wedding industry all the time. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to stay till the end. So let's get right into it. Roses, in my opinion, are the most cost-effective type of silk flower for weddings. Yes, there is nothing new about using roses for weddings, which is great because it is timeless and it is so difficult to mess up. And because they are so popular, they can be found anywhere, including craft stores and online. They are so easy to get hold of. You can easily find inexpensive ones in bundles. And here are the reasons why I like using roses at weddings. First, let me ask you a question. What came to mind when I said rose? This? I've heard some people say, I don't like roses because I don't like the way they look. But these people have no idea. There are more than 300 species of roses and thousands of varieties that have been developed over the centuries. Each rose variety has its own set of characteristics and features. That means even just within the rose category, there are many different types of flowers to choose from. And many of them look nothing like the emoji. I'm not going into details about different types of roses in this video because it will take hours if not days. However, by simply scrolling through the search results for rose silk flower on Amazon or AliExpress, you can see how different they look. And you probably have noticed from the screen flow, they are available in almost every color. That means I can use them for almost any theme. And they are also available in a wide range of sizes, which would allow you to create dynamics and depth in arrangements like bridal bouquets and centerpieces. So here are some arrangements that are primarily made with roses. So what do all these have to do with saving money? Honey, it's all simple maths. When you limit the variety of flowers used in your arrangements, you will need more of the same flower to cover the same surface area. Instead of buying 30 roses, 30 licenses, 24 carnations and 24 dahlias for your bridesmaid bouquets, you can go all in on roses. In that case, you can probably place a bulk order of 120 roses at a wholesale price for both your bridal and bridesmaid bouquets, which will save you some money. And that will also save you time and stress from making flower pairing decisions. You may be wondering if that would look nice enough for weddings. In fact, that's a very classic look that has been around for a very long time. The floral arrangements in this classic style use very little foliage. In that case, you can save quite a bit of money by buying less foliage. And when we think about other aspects of weddings, like not just bouquets, but also decorations, and because roses are so popular, there are rose garlands and swags widely available for your tables and backdrops, which could save you time and money. Yay! And I know what you've been waiting. Here's the bonus money saving tip that I've mentioned at the very beginning of the video. If you have ever handled silk flowers before, you are aware that the flower stems contain wire, but they can be heavy and expensive when shipped in bulk. So this is where my money saving tip comes in. You can get flowers without stems. Well, technically, not completely without stems, but not with the botanically sculpted stems. You might have already seen them on Amazon and wondered how you could put them in good use. You could find them if you search rose, flower heads on Amazon or AliExpress. They usually come with skewer-like thin wire stems that you can insert into opaque faces or compost for centerpieces. You can also use them to easily construct bouquets with bouquet holders or swags for backdrops. 
for wearables like corsages, boltoners, and flower crowns, you don't even need the stamps. However, there are disadvantages of these skewer-like stamps. First, the surface of these skewer-like stamps can be very smooth and they don't always have enough grip in floral forms, so you may need to add hot glue while arranging the flowers. Secondly, the variety available for just flower heads are quite limited when compared to flowers that come with the proper stamps. Now, before you scroll away to buy roses for your next project, learn how to avoid buying low quality flowers. In this video, I have evaluated everything you should look for when shopping for silk flowers. To avoid disappointment, keep yourself informed. If you have already seen that video, check out this one because YouTube believes it's the best fit for you right now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.